Hi, this is Thomas from Apex Game Tools. In this video, we'll be looking at uh, how to use the repair tool and uh, what uh, actions will cause a repair to be required. So, um, we're going to use the uh, survival shooter as the base again. Uh, I have one of the AIs open, as you can see. Um, but for this video, I have added a, uh, an additional qualifier called the test qualifier uh, with a few properties on it. So, each of these entities that make up an AI, they're all represented by uh, .NET classes. So, if you change anything, uh, the name of a type, the property name, the field name, and so forth, um, then the AIs in which these particular components are used will no longer be able to load. So, this is why we have the repair tool. The tool can be accessed through the Tools menu, Apex, and then AI Repair. And we'll see that in just, we can just open it once here. As you can see, we get a list of uh, available AIs, uh, and then we can choose one or more, and then go on to repair them. We'll just wait with that for just one second, because I'm going to show you what um, we need to do first to make the AI need a repair. Uh, right now, as you can see, it's loaded, so it's all valid. But we'll now switch into the code and see uh, the test qualifier created. And then we're going to make some changes to it. And we're actually going to make quite a few. Um, so as mentioned, if you change the name of the type, um, this will be one thing that will break the AI. So we're just going to call it testing qualifier instead of test qualifier. I'm also going to change some of the properties. You can see we have two of them, two serialized properties. We have the NOT property, which is a Boolean. I'm going to change that to an integer, um, call it priority. Um, oops. And um, set that to zero. And then I'm going to do this as a composite action instead. Changing it from a uh, more general uh, type of I action to a more specific type of composite action. So these are the changes um, I'm going to make. So I renamed the type, I renamed the field, and also changed it t its type, and I changed uh, the type of another field. There are a few additional things I could have done. I could have changed the namespace, or I could even have moved it to another assembly. We'll just let it be f like this for now. So I'm going to save my changes and going back into Unity. So now it's going to recompile. And once it's done recompiling, you'll be presented with this. This will obviously only happen if you already have the AIs uh, that are affected open, or one of them open. Uh, and it will allow you to open the repair tool right away. And if you do that, you will get into the view we, sh we saw just before. Um, this time it will just have pre-selected whatever AI is, is uh, in need of repairs and you can just proceed from there. You can also, just if you want to, you can go back and actually select multiple AIs. But for this we only actually need to repair one AI, so we can just proceed with this. Now the repair process is a three-step process. The first step will be to uh, resolve any type renames. Um, so in this case, we can see our test qualifier shows up. It does not know uh, this type. This is the type we will have in the AI. It is referred in the AI, but it no longer exists. So you need to map it. As you can see right now, it doesn't know uh, what to map it to. Uh, you will need to manually select that using the button over here. Clicking that, we can then select Testing Qualifier. And now we have made the correction between the two types. Now this will actually also resolve in cases where it can. Um, these cases will be, there are two. Um, if, as I mentioned, you could also change the namespace. If that is what you do, you change the namespace, but the type name is still the same then it will be able to also resolve uh, the types. And the same goes uh, if you move a type um, from the default assembly 
uh, to some external assembly. So now that we have resolved this, let's move to the next bit. Uh, the next is member resolution. Um, here, any members that are found in the AI but that are not found on the type will be listed. Now, members are not actually uh, required to be repaired. They will not break the AI. Um, if a member is found in the AI but it is not found on the type, it will simply be ignored. But when we do the repair, it will also um, allow you to um, repair these things. So if you do actually do a rename and you want that rename to re be remapped, then you should do a repair. So we have this not qualifier that we change to a priority. And again, we can then choose from some of the fields that are not assigned. So we go ahead and choose priority. And finally, we have a page where we can see uh, mismatches between types and properties or fields. So we have the priority field. Currently, it's at a value of false or true and true, but this is an integer, so these aren't, these about values do not match. They are also not correctable, so I can't choose anything over here because I can't actually choose a different uh, basic type. So what will happen for these is that they will simply be reset to their defaults when we do the repair. In this case, it's an integer, so that means it will be both of these will be reset to zero. Next one, we have this another action, which has been assigned two different actions. Now, as you probably recall, we changed this from basic I action to be a composite action. Neither of these are composite actions, so they do not match. These, however, I can re I can uh, change or resolve if I want to. You don't have to, um, but if you do want to resolve them, um, you can do so again using this button and you can select from the list. Now, right now, it doesn't show anything in the list. And this is because what we set this to be is an, a composite action, which, which is a uh, basic type in uh, Apex Utility AI. So it's an Apex type. So we have this little checkbox up here, which says hide Apex types. We also had that on the first screen. Um, if you actually do want to assign one of the types included with the Apex Agility AI, you will need to uncheck this so that it will also show you the Apex types. So now I will then have the composite action available and I can then choose to remap that if I want and then I can proceed. And that's it. That's the three-step process. You will now get a small summary of what has been changed or what will be changed when you complete it. Um, hit complete say yes and then say yes. So now we have uh, the AI repaired, it has been reloaded and as you can see the testing qualifier is now, uh, it now has a composite action and it has a priority field with a value of zero and same goes for this one. So that's all there is to it, this is how you do uh, repairs. Now just to uh, go full circle, we're just going to reverse these things and then see the repair process uh, going the other way because it will be slightly different. Um, so I'm going to go back into uh, my code. I'm just going to reset everything back to what they were. Save that and go back into Unity. Now again, of course, it will fail. But this time we will actually only get one step. Now we still now we have the testing qualifier this has been renamed, so this step will still be there. We need to then just uh, use our test qualifier, and then we can proceed. But that's it. Um, and I'll explain why we don't get additional steps in just a second. So let's complete it and load it up. So going back, we didn't get additional steps, and this is because on the test qualifier, we had previously changed it to an I comp uh, a composite action, this action is already an I action, which is what we changed it back to. So this is a valid value. So it will not change it back to what it was before, as is expected. Now, similarly with the not operator, this is now a Boolean, but since it will uh, read anything that is not true as false, um, it will also just read this as false, even though it actually says 
a number zero or whatever here. Um, so that's why it doesn't require us to do this. Obviously, we can now uh, change these values and it will save them back uh, as they should be as booleans in the uh, JSON by default. So, there you are. That's repairs. See you in the next video.